believer and not a doubter. I'm a doer and not just a hearer. And my life is the better after having heard the word of faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Believe that, turn around and shake at least three people's hand. Tell them I'm authorized to bless you and you receive it here. You receive it here. You ain't just shaking no hand. You're blessing. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all about ready? I want to share with you this today on faith and the kingdom of God. What is it? Faith and the kingdom of God. Now, faith is the prescribed way of life for those who are part of the kingdom. Let me say that one more time. Faith is the prescribed way of life for those who are part of the kingdom of God. It is a what? Prescribed way. Have, have you ever gone to the doctor's office and you had a little challenge? He gave you some medicine. They call it what? That what? A prescription. <laughs> so faith is the prescribed way of life for those who are a part of the what? Kingdom of God. That's who we be. Amen. So while everything else in the kingdom of God is powered by love, you cannot obtain the promises of God without faith. You cannot obtain the promises of God without faith. This is a much, how you say, uh, it's a message that has not really been taught sufficiently to the people of God. We've been so adamant about trying to get you excited and getting you to, to be jubilant until we have missed the necessary ingredients for the people of God to be able to live the kind of life and to receive the benefits that God has already promised and provided. You know, it's good to shout, but you ought to have something to shout about. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I like to shout, but I want something. When I get, when I get to shouting, it's something that I, you know, that's beyond my wildest imagination that has come into my life that wouldn't have come any other way. So it's a responsibility of pastors and other ministers, even evangelists and apostles, to teach the word of God where faith is concerned. Because the Bible says this way, without faith, it is impossible. Turn around, Hebrews chapter 11. I'm saying that you might have, well, I ain't read that in my Bible, but you need to see it. I could just go ahead and say it, you know, just... Uh, said in old kind of way, but you need to get it right. All right? Uh, it says, without faith, it is what? Impossible. What does impossible mean? Huh? Let me, let me start reading at verse 1, coming down, because this is really it, going down to verse 6. All right? Uh, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrines of Christ, let us go on unto the what? P unto perfection. Not laying again the foundation of what? Repentance from what? For, are you there? Are you there? And faith toward God. Of the doctrine of baptism and the laying on of hands and the resurrection of the dead and of what? Eternal life. And this we will what? Are you there? Oh, I, oh okay. Okay, okay. All right, go over that in. You, want, you just want to hit it right in there. Well, hit verse 16. That's where we're going. But I wanted to read that part so you can get to God tomorrow. He said, but without faith, it is impossible. What does impossible mean? Not possible. To do what? For him. For he that cometh to God for, m must first what? Believe that he is what? That he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently what? One more time. But without faith. But without what? Faith. What happens? It is impossible. What does impossible mean? Not possible to do what? Please him. For he that cometh to God must what? Believe that he is. And that he is a what? Of them that diligently what? Now God tells us in his word 
that if we don't operate by faith, we are not doing what for him? Pleasing him. So when you come to God, how must you come? By faith. And faith is the substance of things what? And the evidence of things what? That's verse 1. Amen. Look at verse 1. Now faith is what? The substance of things hoped for. What does that mean? It's what things are made out of. It's the material. And it is also what? The evidence, the proof, the existence of things that we cannot what? See. So whatever you can't see and you need to see it and God said it is yours, what do you do? Get in faith. Say it's time to get in faith. Come on, say it's time to get in faith. In Jesus' name. So God, this is God's requirement. This is God's requirement. And so much so, we as ministers have neglected to teach on this particular message of God concerning faith where people will be able to rise up. It's like the ABCs. If you don't know your alphabet, you sure not going to be a good speller. You can't spell without knowing your what? Alphabets. You have to know how to put them together, right? Spell red. R-A-T. It's not T-A-R, is it? <laughs> okay. So we got to get it. Tell you, we got to get it. All right. You can't obtain the promises of God without what? Faith. And this is the message that has been neglected. People somehow believe that they'll get around it and get to it at some point in time. But the initial message that the people of God have to be aware of is the message of what? Faith. It's God's will for us to have and not me. It's God's will for us to live and not die prematurely. Amen. He said, with long life will I satisfy you and show you my what? Salvation. He said, the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the what? The only reason it's laid up is so we will not spend it when we get it and we'll have it to be able to enjoy it for a long period of what? Time. It's amazing that people have not understood that you have to learn about the, the really benefits of money before you get it. Because if you got money and have no wisdom, you won't have it what? How y'all know all of that? God wants us to know that money belongs to us. <laughs> Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Okay, sister, okay, okay. But we got to get it. It's God's will. This earth was made for God's people. It doesn't mean church folk, but Adam and Eve started it all. And we got to continue with the best what? Wisdom that God can give us. So don't be looking to go to heaven anytime soon, but make up your mind. As the scripture says, you shall live and not die. But what's the other part? And declare the works of the Lord. That's what we got to do. Your wise people. Holy Ghost filled people. And there's nothing stopping you. The devil can't stop you. His cousins can't stop you. Nobody can stop you but you. And you're not wise if you stop your own what? Self. Amen. So it's time to win. And the only way we're going to win is by operating in faith. Operating in what? Faith. That's why it's so necessary. And it's one of the most neglected messages that we have in the church today. We want to talk about everything but what? Faith. And faith should be the initial. It's like the alphabets. How can you spell if you don't know the alphabet? I said, how can you spell if you don't know the alphabet? And nobody holding you back, just don't have the information, right? So we got to get it. Tell you, we got to get it. So if you're part of the kingdom of God, then your lifestyle is a lifestyle or should be a lifestyle of what? Faith. Doesn't mean looking like you. You know, some people just... They think it'll walk around looking mean and get, they got faith. That has nothing to do with your faith. Be always being mad. No, no, no. The Bible says that a merry heart does good like a what? Medicine. The more words you get, the more faith you should have. The less words you get, the less faith you're going to have. He tells us we have to grow in our what? Faith. It's our responsibility. If you, don't, you can't put it on the pastors. You can't put it on the Sunday school teachers and nobody else. Every individual is responsible 
for getting into the word of God for himself or herself. Now, you know, it's not going to be much advantage to you to go back and read the Old Testament. But you should start where? In the New Testament. Why the New Testament? Because that's where we are. Why the New Testament? That's where we are. And we got to get it. We got to get it. God is not excited about Christians dying prematurely. He is not excited about us being sick, broke, busted, and disgusted. He says, fight the good fight of faith. Do what? Fight the good fight. So a faith fight is a good fight. And the only good fight is the fight that you win. Amen. Amen. If you ain't winning, the other person had a good fight. If you win and you come out, I mean, <laughs> hey, just like you went in. So he made us to what? Win. Satan has already been defeated. Jesus defeated him for us. We don't have to defeat the devil for ourselves. Maybe, maybe I'll say this. Because most people are really, they go and hold on the fact about what they've done to the devil. Uh, the man, no, no, no. Jesus has already taken care of that. You and I have the responsibility of living up to the word that he has given us. That's why he says we walk by faith and not by sight. Not just by what you see, but by the word of what? God. Because that word has in it the ability to transform anything that we decree or declare that is necessary. Amen. So we have to get it in our hearts and in our mouth. Get it in your hardware and in your mouth. If it doesn't come out your mouth, if it's just in your heart, you're going to lose. It's in my heart. You better put it in your mouth if you want to win. <laughs> he said death and life are in the power of the... What does that mean? Words. What does it mean? Words. So if you're a quiet Christian, you're probably going to be a whipped or beaten up Christian because you're going to have to say, the Bible says this way, say unto the mountain. Now the mountain means it's bigger than anything else that you could ever have to deal with. Say unto the mountain, what? Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. And don't doubt in your heart, but believe that those words that you say shall come to pass. And you're going to be the one that will have whatsoever you want. Say. Amen. 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 It's not mental sin. No, it's saying it. You got to say, well, I don't like to talk much. Then you ain't going to get much. <laughs> Amen. It's in your heart. Got to be in your what? Mouth. The Bible says this again. It says death and life are in the what? And they that love it shall eat the what? Fruit there are. You don't want to be no death. No. There are too many Christians who are dying prematurely. But we've been taught to fight the good fight of faith. No sickness, no disease can ever take a child of God down. Amen. That's why he says, after having done all to stand, what is our responsibility? Still stand. See us saying, doesn't matter what the doctor says, and thank God for the doctor. Doesn't matter about how much medication you're taking. Thank God for the medication. But I heard the psalmist say, thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin what? Against thee. So the church has to get to the point that we have more word in us, and we are doers, and not just hearers only. Because he said, those that hear only do what? Deceive themselves. And we don't want to be what? Deceived. Amen. You're not always looking for a tickle. For somebody to tickle you, get you up and running, jumping and hopping. No. You need to have something to settle you down where you can look at your circumstances and your situations and you say what the word of God says and you're not waiting to see whether or not it's going to happen. Because the Bible says his word will not return unto him void, but it shall accomplish that which he pleased and prosper in the thing whereunto he is what? That's us. I said, 54, 17 says what? No weapon. How many of them? No weapon. That is what? Formed against you shall what? And every tongue that what? Rises against you. In judgment you shall what? For this is your heritage because you believe and you trust in who? 
we got to get that. We have to spend time allowing that word to be soaked into our innermost being. And when you come out, you're not holler, oh, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. You're saying, this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will to rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. What's happening? This is the day. Every day. This is the day. It's a new beginning. Say it again. This is the day. What day is it? This day. Amen. Doesn't matter how you feel. Your feelings can change. Don't matter how things look. It can change. Amen. So we've just got to get to the point that the word of God is true. It's true. It ain't working. Yes, it is working. That stuff coming out of your mouth is the devil trying to destroy you. It ain't working. It works. You have to work it, though. Saying if you got to work it. Isaiah 54, 17 says what? No weapon. How many of them? No weapon. That's sickness, disease, divorce, whatever it is. No weapon that's formed where? Against you shall what? So why are you so down and out about your circumstances and your situation? They fought me. Hey, could be the best promotion you ever got. Amen. He left me. Could have been the best blessing you ever got. Amen. Now, I'm not talking about divorcing nobody. No, don't do that now. But you need, you need to understand that when you're with God, you're in the majority. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. When you're on God's side, you're on a winning team. Yes. Amen. There is no failure for the child of God. Amen. You, you, can't, you can't lose. But you got to have a winning mentality. You got to get away from and from around folk who are always talking down. Well, I tell you, I, all these bills, uh-uh, uh-uh. If I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, I know God has to do what he says you're going to do because he cannot lie. He cannot lie. So you just might as well get excited. Amen. Amen. Doctor said, well, you got 30 days. Hey, that's enough to turn it around. <laughs> you be singing these songs, but you ain't listening. Well, turn it around. How y'all know that? You, ain't, you don't think about that when you're coming up against something. You have to remember the word of God is the only thing that will not change. God ain't coming back with a and said, no, I didn't mean that right there. No, it remains what? The same. But we have to work the word. We got to do what? Work the word. It's, it's not enough just to cook the scriptures. You got to live the life. I said it's not enough just to quote the scriptures. You got to live the life. Amen. And when you start living the life, yes, there'll be a lot of pressure, a lot of stuff coming against you. Hey, but it means that there's more stuff coming to you. You be like David, you holler, my cup runneth over. That's what God wants you to understand. This is running over time. This is the time. You're not going to have to be slaving for nothing and fighting for nothing. No. He said, listen, it's your time. The church shall arise. Because God has already established that you are his people. And because you're his people, he will not let you go down. Amen. Look at somebody say, I believe you're coming up today. I believe you're coming up today. <laughs> amen. 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 So it's our responsibility to have a lifestyle of faith. You don't have to tell everybody how much faith you got. Now let him see. The Bible says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. And his mercy endured for what? Ever. Amen. When you got some stuff you're going through that's difficult in your life, it is an indication of what you're coming to. Oh, no. You don't understand. No, 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 no. The devil is trying to shoot his best shot, and it just ain't working. Amen, amen, amen. You got to get it. Amen. But we somehow as ministers have neglected to put this kind of teaching into the minds and hearts of our people. And the reason is because y'all be calling for the wrong thing. You want to be jumping and shouting and hollering when you should be sitting down and squeezing and feeding and coming up out of there full. And you baby say like David said, my cup 
Amen. That means with the word of God. Got so much word, it doesn't matter what's going on. You'd be saying, none of these things. What you say? None of them. Now, see, I want to stay with my message here and tell y'all what I got. I got a good script here, but I'm telling y'all, pull it on me because some of y'all want to hear something that's going to bring you out of some stuff nobody else been able to bring you out of. I can't do it, but the Word of God can do it. But I got to get you to see yourself where you'll understand you're not what other people say. You're what God says you are. Amen, amen. You're what God's Word says you are. He said, I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above only and not beneath. I come behind and no good thing. And in all that I you better watch out. Because if I touch you, something good is going to happen to you. Woo, Jesus. Woo. Oh, Lord, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> you got to get it. Amen. I used to listen to Brother Old Roberts. I still listen to some of his messages, you know. He said, something good is about to happen to you. And I come out of there saying, something good is about to happen to me in the name of Jesus. Can you say amen? You got to get it. This is not just a book that's good. Oh, Lord, I love my Bible. You better love more than your Bible. You need to love the word that's in that Bible. Amen. The Bible says faith coming by hearing and hearing by the what? Word of God. You got to get it in you. Like what Jeremiah says, just like fire shut up in my body. Amen. Woo, Jesus. When you get to the point that you really love God, there'll be less time for other folk and more time for God. Now, I ain't talking about your husband and your wife. Now, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Tell you that don't, do, don't do that now. You give your mate a whole heap of time. Y'all got quiet, then that must be the right one. You, <laughs> you need to get them a whole heap of what? Time. Amen. Amen. Get, all that free time they got, the mind wonders. And the wondering mind is one that'll go and do wrong. Hear the most song, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to do it right. You ain't safe. <laughs> Let me talk over here. Y'all, y'all, you ain't safe. If, look, you got to get it, Tabby. You got to get it. Amen. 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 God did not give us faith just to know what it was, to be able to understand the definition. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Oh, yes, it is. But what you going to do with it? What you going to do with it? I like the scripture, we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. You just look. It ain't just what you see because you know what you see. If it is not what you want, the word of God will cause you to be able to change it. Faith will what? Change it. That's what God wants. He wants us to be so saturated with his word. You can say like the men of old said, none of these things move me. Well, don't you hear? It's a tornado coming. None of these things. Did he say, say unto the mountain? Hey, you got to talk to it. And Christians have forgotten about the fact that we got the ability to overcome any circumstance or any situation. But it's with your mouth and the actions of your life. What did he say? Death and life and the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat what? Got to do it. A copy, I'm telling you. You got to get ready. Church, you ain't seen nothing yet. There was a time when folks didn't even have to lock the doors on their home when they went somewhere. No. And nobody went into them houses because they had real neighbors. If you went in there, somebody that stayed next door to them. Now, that's Miss So-and-So house, and if you don't come out there, I'm going to call it Popo. <laughs> they protected each other. Nowadays, neighbors don't really know each other. You living right next door to somebody and don't know them. Don't speak, don't say nothing. Just walk right out. Ignore them. And don't know they're part of your help that God has sent to that neighborhood. Got to get it. You sitting up here in the church right now. And there's possibility of something. You've got a problem with somebody. And you don't know that somebody, you're allowing them to mess up your blessing. 
Hey, kid ain't, uh uh-uh. I don't even, that doesn't even concern me. I don't care what you say, how you act. I'm still going to do what the Word of God says. I'm going to love you regardless. Amen. You talk about how much faith you've got. If you ain't got no love, it ain't going to work. Because faith work it by. No, y'all don't know that. Faith work it by. And that don't mean you get to loving just before you're trying to get something you've been missing all that time. No, the devil going to see to it that you will never have it. Well, you know what they said. That you know he's a, he, he is a liar. And he's a reminder of everything you've done wrong or even thought wrong. But we got power over him. Amen. That's why it's so good for confession. He said, if you'll confess your sin, he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sin and to cleanse you from how much? What does all mean? So you just as clean as you were before you ever messed up. Amen. And you're not going back into that mess. No, no, you, you're not going back into that. If you really love God, because you don't want to grieve or hurt the heart of God. It's not that you don't want to get into the act, but you don't want to hurt the heart of what? Even if you don't love your mate, you don't want to hurt who? But you should all love, you should love your what? Mate. Got to get it. Got to get it. God is not coming back for a defeated church. He's not coming back for a defeated church. He's coming out, coming back for a victorious church. That's who we are. The Bible says we are to call things that be not as though they were and to expect them to happen just like we said. I see some people don't. Nah, I've been calling stuff. Yeah, but how are you living? The devil will hold you back. He'll get you to mess up and then he'll mess you up. You don't need to be on his team. You need to stay on God's team. The Bible says you got to be a doer of the word and not a hearer of what? Because those that hear only do what? Deceive themselves. And we are not to be deceived. Amen. It's not how you preach. Not how good you are when you're singing. But it's how you're living in the word of God. The Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. And we call things that be not as though they were. And we expect them to happen just like we said. Got to get it. Got to get it. How come he don't preach on it? How can I preach? Listen, if you have not been rooted, grounded, and settled in the word, look, you're just like a leaf on a, in the water. You just go wherever the water go. But you got to get to the point that you're so rooted, grounded, and settled in the word, you'll be able to say, none of these things move. Doesn't matter what my neighbor got. Doesn't matter what the other folk in my family got. None of these things move me. Because God has already said that he make me the head and not the tail. Above all that and not beneath. And refuse me to allow to come behind and what? Any good thing. And all I set my hands to, what happened? Punch your neighbor say, you better watch out because if I touch you, you're going to be blessed. Come on. They say, look here. Better watch out because if I touch you, you're going to be blessed. And go ahead and receive it anyway. Go ahead and receive it anyway. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we got to get it. We got to get it. You got to have faith in your faith. What did I say? You got to have faith in your faith. Well, 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 see, if I did it, uh, it might not happen. The devil is a liar. The devil is a what? He's a liar. If one can put a thousand in flight, two can put what? Look at the multiplication proportion. Let's think about how many twos we got up in here. We alone should be able to turn around anything that ain't going right according to the word of God if we come together and be on one accord. And it is so. Doesn't matter how it looks. No matter how it smells, how it sounds. And it is so. Well, I don't see nothing. But it is so. I'm talking about the word of God. I ain't talking about that situation because that situation, when word of, the word of God is put on there, it cannot do anything but what God has said. So if them two you got that's in agreement, don't mess up and get to, you know, talking wrong and living wrong. 
it has to happen just like God has what? Said. That's why I used to love every summer. I'd be looking for the summer. I worked all the nine months in the school system, but I knew Brother Hagen had a meeting coming up in the summer. I was looking for that meeting. Man, I was looking for that meeting. Me and my wife and them two girls, man, we didn't have enough food to carry. You know, we had, she, we girl, like, she put something in a bag to let them know sandwich. It'd be hard, but we got halfway to heaven. But it was still good. <laughs> Amen. And I, I tried to get as close as I could where I could be where the anointing was. Could never get too close because as far as the folk was living there, they got there before I did. But I'm telling you, the word that I had the opportunity to receive, the people that I had the opportunity to experience that ministry, different ministry, it was a blessing. It was a blessing. I come out of there, man, look, look like I could walk on the mountain and never touch the ground. No way. Amen. He helped me to understand how to be rooted, grounded, and settled in the word, not to be moved by what I see, but to understand that the word of God was more real than I even meant to myself. Amen. That's why I met Dr. Price. That's why I met the rest of those ministers that you see now if you're watching on television. I met them there at the camp meetings. At the camp meetings. And now they don't have the same kind of camp meetings, but we can have it ourselves. Get that word, start studying yourself, and holler back to you, say, Amen. What you talking about? Amen, too. Amen, what? The word is so. And it will not return back to God, what? Having not done what it was supposed to, what? Do. We got to get that. The Bible says, They that hunger and thirst after righteousness. Didn't say they might, he said shall. That's one of the strongest verbs in the English thing. They shall be what? Filled. cast out devils and you want to climb mountains and stuff, you better get the confidence. And say what the people of old said, and this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything, how much? Anything. What will happen? It shall be done. That's what God wants you to be like. And you don't waste no time. Well, I don't know if I'm going to church today. You are the church. How can you not go to who you are? This is an assembly hall. This is where the gathering of the champions come to be. Amen. You, look, stop letting other people and other stuff define you. Your definition comes right out of the word of God. And you have to know who you are and in whom you have believed. God is my source. He's my source of supply. He's my God of my salvation. Now listen, he is it. He's it. And you got to understand, if you're, if you're, you're never alone. Girl, I'm at, I'm, at, I'm at the house by myself. You just let the devil know he can kick your butt. Never alone. Never alone. Never alone. Can't get alone with God in me. Uh-uh. Have no fear. God's in me. Amen. But we just wanted a song and a dance, and we ready to go, oh, wasn't the rare wasn't ready today. No. You, you hadn't got no word. You have no power. And if you have no power, you are defeatable. The enemy will run you over, and you still with your hand in the air acting like you really do care. No, no. Listen, you need to be rooted, grounded, and settled on the word of God. What did David say? Thy word, how about what? What did it keep him from doing? That I might not sin against thee. No word and no power. And sinning you will do. And you don't realize that you're allowing the enemy to take something away from you that you really don't need to lose. You don't have the confidence when you get into a battle after you have allowed the devil to use you. You say into the mountain, but the mountain talking back at you. But when you get in that word and get rooted, grounded, and settled in that word, doesn't matter what devil, what demon comes your way, you already know he's a defeated foe. Yeah. Amen. Isaiah 54, 17 says what? No weapon. How many of them? No weapon. That is what? Formed against you. So what? And every tongue that rises against you and what? You shall what? For this is your heritage because you believe and you trust in what? Hide the word in your heart 
you, you can't just walk around just read, just read. I'm going to read. Go get nobody read. You, that's good. But you got to have that word in your heart. There'll come a time when you're not near your Bible. There'll come a time when somebody else ain't there with you, and you won't have anything to say. And the Bible says you got to talk to them mountains. Jesus said it where he said, Say unto mountain, the mountain, be thou removed. What that mean? It has to go somewhere. And be thou cast into the sea. God knows what a swallow would up. And don't doubt in your what? Heart. That's what it is. Doubting in the what? Heart. Got to get it. We're champions. We're winners. We cannot. We cannot lose. We cannot lose. Unless we don't do what's been recommended. Got to get it. Or be to the point that the Bible, the word of God got you. You can tell the people, I got that, I got that. No, the word of God got that. It's got that. Say it, it's got that. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We got to get it. Say it, we got to get it. You cannot obtain the promises of God except through faith. Turn to Hebrews chapter 11. You're already there. Let's look at verses 32. When you get that, say, I got it. Are you there yet? We're going from verse 32 down to uh, verse 35. And what, I, what shall I say more? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and Jephthah and David also and Samuel and of the what? So two of y'all got it on the right page. And of the what? All right. Who through faith subdued kingdoms. You mean what? These people did what? Subdue kingdoms. These are whole groups of folk. Listen. Uh, subdue kingdom. Wrote righteousness. Obtain what? All. Oh, isn't that what we've been looking for? We want the promises of what? God. Listen. Ah. They did what? They stopped the mouth of what? The lion. What? He couldn't, he couldn't eat them. Listen. Quench the violence of fire. Escape the edge of the what? Out of weakness were made what? And you don't want this? And what is this? Faith. Not F-A-T-E. F-A-I-T-H. What do you want? Faith. You know one word that really defines faith all by itself? Confidence. What is it? When you got faith, you are confident. What are you? Confident. I don't know, girl. I don't know if you have worked. I tried last time. Listen, you are not confident, which means you are really not in what? Faith. Some people be lying. I, I got you trying to get it. You hadn't gotten there, and God wants us to be there. He wants us to be in faith in his word and understand that his word will not return to him what? That means not having done what it was sent to do. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on, either. Uh, verse what? Third, some of them want to go back to 32. I will go back to 32 then. And what shall I say more say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and of Bubba <laughs> and of Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah, of David also and Samuel and of the what? Who through faith, he's telling you how they did it now, not with a road grader, and who through what? Faith, subdued what? Kingdoms, wrought what? Righteousness, obtained what? Promises, stopped the mouth of what? Boy, boy, if you could just stop the mouth of the liars around you, you'd be not lions, but the lions. <laughs> That's all you need to be. You start off with the what? The liars. You can get the lions. Hey, neighbor, if you can get the liars, you can get the lions. <laughs> Look at Quench the violence of fire. Escape the edge of the sword. How did he do this? Through faith. How did he do it? Through faith. Listen now. Out of weakness were made what? Strong. Wax valiant in what? That means they were winning. Wasn't losing no battles. Hush neighbor, so we ain't losing no battles up in here. You know, I got a problem with that. Because I'm looking at y'all, and y'all ain't looking at nobody. It's amazing. 
you know, we, we, got, we got a record of not being able to look each other in the face. We got to get over that. You don't really like people unless you can look them in the face. You need to look them in the face. Say, look here, I, I'm sorry about that. Come on, look at somebody. Say, I'm sorry about that. Look at you ain't even sorry about it. You need to be sorry about it. Amen. Because what you're doing is, is that you're kicking the devil to the curb. And you don't want nothing to get ahead of what? God. Amen. Verse 34 again. Quench the violence of fire. Escape the edge of the what? Sword. Out of darkness were made what? Out of weakness, I'm sorry. Out of weakness were made what? That alone right there should be enough for everybody else. Listen. Wax violent in what? They, that means you're winning. Turn to flight the armies of the what? Whatever came out against you, they had to what? Go down. Women receive their dead, raised to life, what? Uh, that ain't no dead husband now. I mean, he needed the house. Maybe acting like he did, but he ain't dead. Hey Amen. Let another woman come through that with one of them hot dresses on. He'll come back to life. <laughs> Who that? Who that? Who that? <laughs> Women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were what? Tortured, not accepting the what? Deliverance that they might obtain a better what? Resurrection. And others had trials of cruel mockings and scourging, yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sown asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword, they wandered about in sheepskin and goatskin, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the what? Of the earth. And all and these all having obtained a what? Good report. How? Through faith. What did they do? Read that other four words. Receive their, re receive not their what? God having provided something better for us, that they without us should not be made what? All this stuff that these people did and never got a chance to see the end of their what? The quest. And God said, listen, he has a better report for us. What's that? You ain't going nowhere until you get your stuff. Aren't your neighbor say, I'm not going anywhere until I do what? Look at somebody else say, I'm not going anywhere. Until I get what? It takes faith to get results from the word of God. Please make a note of this. It takes faith to get results from the word of God. F-A-I-T-H. It takes faith to get results from the word. You be quipping and quoting. I know what Isaiah said. I know what John said. Yes, but listen. Have you done what you were supposed to do? What does it take? It takes what? Faith to do what? Get results. How are you going to get results? Through faith. How are you going to get results? Through faith. And you got it. When you got born again, guess what you got? Faith. It's in you. But your faith has to what? Grow. And how does faith come? By hearing. And hearing what? The word of God. Meaning that if you want to get faith in God, you're going to have to hear God's word. All oh, wasn't real hot today. All oh, wasn't real. And you don't know not one scripture that came out. You're blowing up, but you're not growing up. And God wants us to what? To grow. To do what? Grow. It'll change homes. For children to be able to understand how to help their parents. Not just financially, but through prayer. Through the word of God. We can change anything. If we first do our what? Part. Being rooted and grounded and settled in the word of what? God. I'm telling you, that's what the church has to do. The church has not played its, its rightful role in whatever community that it's in. Any community that the church is in, and it is a word church, that community should change for the better. Doesn't matter who you got in the White House, the outhouse, or the city house. It matters who's in your house. And that ought to be J-E-S-U-S. -S. Who? 
J E S U, and it ain't just written on your chest, but it's in your real heart. He said, the word that's coming out of your mouth will transform your what? Your life. And God wants it to happen to us. You got to make up your mind. Listen, this is not it. I have not arrived, but I'm on my way. What are you? I'm on my way. Amen. Faith is transformed. Before it can change your circumstances, it has to change you. Oh, y'all ain't listening. See, you're looking for your stuff to change. But if your stuff changes and you hadn't changed, it's still a mess. You're going to have to first let the word work on you. That's why David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Where did he hide first? The word. Where? In his heart. You think God's going to be any different with us? No, we got to get that word where? In our hearts. In our hearts. So you can start loving people. Stop hating people. Stop being messy. I'm telling you, just, just, just nothing. I mean, you, you, in church, praise the Lord. Then you get out there, lie like a fly. Just lie, lie, lie. You can't believe nothing, folks. I'm talking about church, folks. Reb, I'll be there. And don't ever come. He said it's the truth that you know. Now, that word know is not knowledge. It means to have intercourse with. It means to have intercourse with. You so wrapped up and tied up with what words you've gotten out of that, listen, you can do no wrong. Uh-uh. We are the righteousness of God in what? Christ Jesus. And we're about to turn stuff around because we're going to turn ourselves around first. We're going to look in the mirror at us before we ever try to look at somebody else. So we'll know how to live this life and how to do what God has told us to do so the world can know that God is a good God. What kind of God is it? He's a, no, say it like you mean, he's a, and my time is up, and I thank you for your, get a lot of hand clap.